After Effects Camera is really advanced tool for beginners and the most feared tool inside After Effects. And this is the reason why most of the editors stay stuck in 2D. But with the help of this script called Camera 3D Toolkit Pro, you can utilize the full power of After Effects Camera just by using buttons and sliders. And best part is, it has every single feature which Camera has to offer. So check out this tool from the link in the description because it's currently on 40% sale. All right, so let's see how easy it is to use Camera using this tool. So first of all, we will open the extension by going to the window, then Extensions, and click on Camera 3D Toolkit Pro. Now dock this extension in your workspace according to your preference. Now here you can see a lot of buttons and sliders which could be overwhelming at first, but trust me, they are really easy to understand. So let's say we have this flat scene and we want to add some 3D depth into it. If you follow the traditional way, then we have to make all the layers 3D and then create a camera and parent it to a null object, which is a lot of work. But with this tool, you just need the things which you want to animate and then press this quick button and your work is done in just a click. You can see here that our layers are evenly spread in the 3D space, and if you move the camera, you can notice the parallax effect. But if you want to start from scratch without adding any depth, then just press this reset button and it will reset your composition as it was in the beginning. Now just press this setup button and it will give you a camera linked with the null object to add the keyframes, saving you many precious clicks. Creating a complex scene could be a hectic task to do, especially while working with a lot of layers, and this is where the spacing features can save you. You just have to select layers which you want to arrange in 3D space, and then you can evenly spread them along X, Y, and Z axes using these sliders. And if you want to be more specific, then just type the value here, and it will adjust the layers according to the provided value. And if you want to randomly distribute the layers, then I will just type 500 pixels here, and it will randomize the layers up to 500 pixels. You can also rotate your layers randomly by clicking on this button to add more depth in your scene. Now let's see how to add smooth camera movement without touching a single keyframe. So I will select my null object and go to the animation section, and here you can see the direction on which your camera will be rotated. So for example, I press this key, then it will move 45 degrees in that direction. And by default, the duration of this animation will be two seconds. But you can change its duration to anything by dragging the keyframes. And if you want something specific, then just type the exact amount of seconds in this movement section, and then rotate the camera, and it will work just fine. And if you want to add position keyframes, then just see these buttons. And with the help of that, you can move your camera in any direction. For example, I want to move the camera in Z axis, then I will simply select the null object and click on this button, and it simply adds keyframes. And look at this, we don't even have to add any easing on the keyframes, it already looks so smooth. By default, it's adding position keyframes 1000 pixels apart, but you can change them also by this position slider, giving you total control on the camera. Now, let's see how we can automatically orient the camera to any specific layer. So in this case, I want to position my keyframes at the Cristiano Ronaldo layer, so I will simply select that layer and click on the target button, and you can see that it is automatically moving towards that layer and keeping it in the center. You can do this for several layers, which makes the camera really easy to use, especially for beginners. So if you also struggle to move the camera like this, then don't forget to check the link in the description, because it's currently on 40% sale. Now, if you play the animation, then you can notice the camera is orienting itself according to the orientation of the layer. But if you don't want that, then you can just use the Look At button, and it will just use position property to reach that layer. Now, if you notice the null layer, then we can see a lot of keyframes, and each movement is coming at a full stop while going to the next layer. So if we somehow overlap these keyframes, then our camera would never stop. And this is the secret why some animations look so good on social media. So if you want to do the same, then just select your null layer and then press this overlap button, and it will automatically overlap the keyframes in several null objects. And this could be a game-changing tool to use the camera. Now let's see how we can create depth of field in just some clicks. So first, increase this aperture value, and you will notice the layers which are not the main focus are getting blurry. You can also use this blur slider to intensify the blur amount. And if you don't see anything blurred, then make sure this slider is not sitting on zero. And if you select all the layers and increase this opacity, then only the layers which are in front of the camera will be visible. And just as the camera moves towards another layer, 
That layer will be visible. This could be a great way to change scenes while editing 3D reels or creating a seamless transition between scenes. Now let's see how you can make different types of camera shakes or handheld movements. So we will head over to the camera shakes section and in the preset dropdown, you can notice a lot of presets designed for each scenario. So I will choose any of them and hit apply and it will give you camera wiggle to make your scene realistic. But if you want to change the shake amount, then adjust its amplitude here. And you can also change the frequency of shake by these sliders to make your shake slow or fast. Now you just have to hit apply and it will be done. There are many shake presets, so make sure to check them out. And if you want to remove the shake, then just simply hit this remove button and it will undo the expressions. And in the end, we have this speed and map section. So I will create a new composition and add a 4K map and just hit this setup button to get everything ready in place. Now we just have to click on this map button and instantly we will be rewarded with a null object. And you just have to place this null object on the starting point of your animation and then move to another location and hit target again. You can repeat this process several times if you need and you can see your map is animated. If you select the first null object and click on this S plus R button, then it will rotate the camera like this. And this way you can add crazy depth of field to focus the part which is in the center of the camera. And if you want to add animated lines, then just press this 3D trace button while selecting the null object and instantly a shape layer will be generated. And I'm gonna change its color to something else to make it visible according to this map. And in just some simple clicks, your map is animated. You can also add motion blur to make it even better. And honestly, this is the best script to work with After Effects camera, especially for beginners. And in the latest update, they have added some new features like autofocus. And with the help of this, you can easily change the focus of the camera to any other layer without moving the camera. For example, in this scene, you can see the layers are getting in focus when the camera reaches to them. But if we want to get this without moving the camera, then just select the layers which you want to focus on and then hit this autofocus key. And you can see it's solved. And this simple extension can be really useful to work with. So don't forget to check this tool from the description because it's currently available at 40% discount. So make sure to check it out and I will see you in the next one.